Action. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Grevin Talk podcast. How is everybody doing today? We're doing know, very what day is it today? Um, a little tired. What but... day is it today? Eh. Why are you tired, oh, Alex? Just working hard. Working Ooh. hard. You know what? Working shout hard. out, <clears throat> shout out to all the hard workers, the people that listen to this podcast before or after work. You know, um, you guys are the true MVPs, and uh, you guys are the ones that are making uh, the dream happen. The true MVPs are the ones who hate on the comments. Damn! Dang. Oh. He's calling those, out. Those are my favorite. <laughs> Okay, but Shots we like that fired. enthusiasm, though. Shots fired. Yo, yo, if you comment, we, we appreciate that. I, I like your comments. I like your comments. But thank you again, guys, for all the people that watch our shit and, you know, and like and subscribe yes, and yes, share yeah. it. Oh, you guys, you guys have like a special part in our hearts that um that we we, we love you guys. We truly do. Yeah, because also, because of you guys, it's 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 fire. <laughs> There's some loud ass music so, playing in the some background. Party has happened well, already. Check out the new Trigger View jerky right here. Oh yeah, uh, Daniel made that. Damn, it, it, it's not a, it's not a Trigger View jerky. It's just Daniel's jerky. <laughs> branded, it's branded. Uh, don't don't steal the name. Daniel's jerky. <laughs> Daniel likes the jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that sound? Uh, you're, not to, like you're not supposed to say it together. Like. Yeah, it just doesn't sound. <laughs> All right. it, it's just like it's like that. And like, for example, yeah, did you guys hear about uh, um, Trump signing that thing where people are like um, Trump signing an executive order? Or is it was it an executive order or something like that where um, they the government has to disclose the UFO stuff? Oh, oh comfort start no. disclosing no. the confidential I don't know files. What you're talking about. What do you oh. mean you don't want to talk about? <laughs> Bro, this is your subject. This is what you do. You like, uh, oh, oh, because it's not a conspiracy no more. Because it's not a conspiracy no more. It's, it's the real. truth. It's real. He has no motherfucking oh. interest in it. No, no, no. Oh, I we figured out, Andy. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. I know what you're talking about because when I saw that, I thought it was a meme. I thought it was fake. So I went on Google because it's reliable and, uh, it said so right there. Yeah, and uh, the internet is always right, right? Especially yeah. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I just I just thought it was cap still, even though Google said yeah, and there was like all this crap. But there was, I've been seeing like documents by NASA, like they, they like on the news, like actual like TV and everywhere on social media, and they're like, Yeah, you know, footage of aliens confirmed by NASA to be real, blah, 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 blah. And I like I watch it and I'm like, Oh, this is cool. I've been seeing stuff uh because I watch a little news here and there. Yeah. Uh, also in the news they're showing like UFO stuff. It's like yeah. what? So imagine all the people back in the day that like they were like, oh, I saw aliens. They're like, nah, you fucking crazy. Like in the nineteen, and they actually like, saw that's them. That's true, bro. That's huh? true. Hey, I heard, I heard there, there's a spaceship in Mexico New that Mexico, uh, that huh? New what? Mexico. Is it in New Mexico? No, Mexico. That's in Mexico way. City. Like Mexico, Mexico. Like an uh, like an actual like um a uh, fucking shuttle crashed. Like Mexico City, Mexico. Or? Like yeah, like I don't know what part of Mexico. Like oh. I got to research a little bit. Uh, Frankie, can um. Yo, for this is in New Mexico. That's where UFO crashed. Oh, New Mexico? Yeah. Fifty one. Nineteen fifty. No one's allowed there. It's because the aliens are there and they're working with the government. Yo, can you repeat that? Yeah, 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 no, yeah, it's true. Uh, What did you say? Nineteen fifty four, New Mexico. Uh, How the story goes is like a farmer dude was just you know in his farm. (laughs) Oh, McDonald had a crazy ass crash. He lived like in the middle of fucking nowhere. There was like nobody near him for miles, so like no one else saw what he saw. He went to the crash, and like there was like all this crazy shit, like the UFO crash, and he didn't say shit for like a couple days because he was scared. Eventually, he went to tell the government, and like they locked him up, and like they you knew too much. No, they just locked him up and asked him all these questions, and like they picked everything up, and like at first it was confirmed that yeah, an alien spaceship or UFO crashed, but then within hours, the army changed the story. Like the army gave an official story about it being a crash of a UFO. And then after they got the guy and talked to him for a while and saw what they actually saw, they changed their story to, oh, it was a balloon crash. <laughs> like a weather balloon. <laughs> wow. Like ever since, yeah, wow. and ever since then, fucking, yeah. But well, what since, he was saying is that, yeah, that the reason why we're not allowed in Area 51 is because they're, they're there and working with our government. Well, Area 51, and I don't know if you guys know who Bob Lazar is, but he has a lot to do with that. Uh, who? Bob Lazar? No. Nah. Who the uh, fuck is Bob Lazar? He's a guy who <laughs> <Bob Azar. laughs> yeah. he's this guy that used to work like as a scientist at Area 51. And he like this is the you guys the reason why you guys know of Area 51 is because of him. He's the first person to expose Area 51. And uh yeah, but 
yeah, they they like get well. There's a bunch of crap that goes into this, but they have like saying say, they say that you know UFO shit has been created by Nazis too during World War. Uh, during oh, World I War believe War. that. I believe that. Yeah, during World War Two, and uh, pretty much that America got a lot of scientists that were. Germans. Nazis and well, they, you know, that is true. Yeah, That's true. We got a lot that. of scientists, doctors. Well, in Area Fifty One, they had a lot of engineers, a lot of engineers, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, scientists and a bunch of crap that was that were Nazis and shit. And they had actual Americans too working together, and they would do experiments on aircraft that Nazis already were fucking with, you know. And like, yeah, I, I honestly believe. I mean, I may sound crazy, but I think our government is smart enough and capable of not enough to like create a UFO by now and. I'm pretty sure those guys figured it out a long time ago, but yeah, who knows? Mm. For all we know, the the UFO crashings are probably our people crashing from True. test drives. Test you drivers. guys don't really know, you know. Well, they they say that the government is like ten to fifteen years ahead of us in technology. Uh, I feel like they're fifty years. Oh, ahead, like the NASA technology. Yeah, like because everything. Because they, oh. they, you know, we get computer. NASA technology yeah. in everyday life. <laughs> yeah, little things. But, how how do you guys feel about the government controlling the fact that oh, uh, the normal Joe is not ready for? What is truly out there? They should not know. We should keep this classified. What is truly out there? What do you mean? Like the back like, end hiding shit? Yeah, like I they think, hide shit. I I, I think it's not. I think it's what Annie's saying is it's it's out there, but people don't want to believe it's real. More, it's yeah. more of that. It's like it, we're getting fed the actual real information. If you look for it, it's there. Yeah. But it's just people won't believe it. Oh, that can't be. Oh, it's not real. Oh, um, that's impossible. They would they would tell us if it was real. I mean, come on. It's because people choose to. Be, I mean, ignorant, I guess, not really. I mean, I guess that's the way I would see it because when you really look at a lot of these people that have power, positions of power, like people that are friends of Jeffrey Epstein and people like hey. Jeffrey Epstein, like, what's up? Like, they're all a bunch of fucking corrupt ass, fucked up people with money and fame that we look up to for what reason? Like, I don't fucking what know. What up? You look up to mm-hmm. Jefferson? No, no he's no. like in general, we look up to in these general, people of power. But right, for, right. For what reason? <sighs> well, I don't know. I, you know what? I think the demographic is changing. I don't think people actually look up to people like in power a lot like they used to because now media sources are different. You know, now you get your information from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, because yeah. we're, you know, that's, the news. That's the reason why the traditional yeah. news is dying. Because people are getting it from everywhere we and they can get the different different versions of the story from everywhere and they could kind of fact check it themselves that's why china's fucking like limiting what people can actually search up or you know for example bitcoin no not bitcoin uh dogecoin is not allowed in fucking china because it's like it, it's a it's a free market Fuck no you know it's a free market but so okay so all, all, all everybody here in the freaking table believes aliens exist right definitely i believe uh, in yeah. some somewhat like if there's got to be something out there we're like we're the not way? the only yeah how do you know the angels or gods in the Bible are not aliens? How do you know those gods that we know, like the Greek gods or the Roman gods, how do you know they're not aliens? Like, for all we know, gods are aliens and aliens are gods. And, you know, because it's like, when you look hmm, at I that shit. I never thought about that. Think about it, yeah. We treat these higher beings as gods, but in reality, they could have just been higher dimensional beings that are like us, but just in a different wavelength, people that are smarter, you know? Because it's like. It's like, hey, yeah, some, yeah, it's kind of true. Uh, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when, when the Spaniards took over the, you know, the Aztecs. Yeah. And they because thought they, were they, they thought yeah, Spaniards yeah. were gods. Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah. we bring in some fucking history 101. Damn. But it was shit. You know, they thought that the Spaniards yeah. were the gods because everything fucking aligned. And they weren't. There was just these dudes that were there for to find gold and fucking con- conquer, you know, conquer yeah. America. I don't know if you guys ever heard of the Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Mm-mm. Damn, y'all need to look up your history. What the hell is that? It's the gods of the... Sub- People that lived in summer, they're like the first civilization, mm-hmm. uh, Sumerians or whatever the fuck. Uh, I can't say the word. It's like, I don't know how to Spartan? spell it. Spartan? No, those are people. Wrong wrong people from summer, like so, Sumerians or. Um, I think it is Sumerian. Yeah. They're like the first civilization of like mankind, like ever. I don't know if you learned about it in history, but they're there for a brief amount of time. But their religion kind of talks about. Well, it talks about a lot of things, but like, I guess it talks about how... Shit. <laughs> Damn. Bro. Oh, Yo, so the neighbor has a motor motor club. What and apparently... It? Yeah, apparently he's um he's uh, he's testing his shit out. But yo, real quick, to piggyback off the alien shit. Yeah. You know, doesn't, doesn't that kind of piss you off? The fact that we have the technology to build fucking space shuttles that can go from here to like 
France in one second, but we don't have the fucking technology to uh, to find a cure for cancer. No, we do. We have it. We but, but, just, well, what's like, well, if you think about it, you were going, going back to what you're saying, ancient yeah. civilizations. Ancient civilizations actually had a lot of technology. I mean, they, they oh, came they up did. with the numeric system. They came up with all these advancements. You know where they got it from? According to Summer, they got it from the gods, mm-hmm. the aliens. Mm-hmm. They came from a different, I guess, place, but they came here searching for gold because their planet was low on that gold. Coming found, here for they, resources. Yeah, and they found it here. Yeah. And I guess they had like they had subordinates that were they were called um they were fucking called this is it's a name that they uh they called the giants in the Bible. Um Goliath? No, no, not Goliath, no no. Um That's one of the giants. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the giants. Um well whatever. They had this subordinate race and like they kinda had like a rebellion. So then they let them kind of get freedom. And I guess we were like homo sapiens here, right? Like we were fucking evolution monkeys and shit. Mm-hmm. And they decided to mix their genes with our genes and create what we are now. And that's what kind of explains evolution in a way too. That's like the what was written in their shit. And from there, I guess the gods, the Anunnaki, like they really liked the like human females and mm-hmm. like they breeded with them. Mm-hmm. And they had like this their offspring was like hybrid god and hybrid us and like it's how giants came to existence in our in our like we have it in other religions and other cultures cultures giants mm-hmm. exist and that's why because they were half god and half human so well, kind of like demigods in yeah a way. and oh, the, the bible kind of like the bible greek talks mythology about that too, and greek mythology was, yeah, and yeah greek mythology and it talks about all that well all that got its roots from that because that's like the first civilization first story and pretty much it goes to where the god of all the gods, the father of all the Anunnaki got fucking mad because he's like, yo, you can't mix royal blood with slaves or whatever the fuck. Because we were like, we we're supposed to be like their workers. You yeah, know? yeah. And, mm. uh, like the bottom fucking class, like yeah. the bottom feeders. Yeah, like you ain't worth shit. Yeah. yeah. Like mud and, bloods from Harry Potter. Yeah. And and mud pretty bloods. much from there, it turned into like, that fool got mad and he was like, fuck that. We're just going to flood this bitch and like <laughs> just kill everybody. And like the flood from the Bible, like they have that in their thing too. But, and then Noah came through with his fucking art. Well, one, one, of his, one of his, I think, kids, his sons, Anunnaki's sons, told so-and-so to create a ship. So it kind of like, I, I guess, explains the God of like the Old Testament as one of the sons of the actual God God. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird, but it has all that. And it's kind of crazy because when you really look at other religions and when they explain the early beginnings of us. Of time. Or they all talk existence. about the flood. A lot of religions talk about the flood. A lot of other places in history talk about the flood. It's kind of weird that although we have different religions mm-hmm. and different belief systems. It kind of revolves around the same shit. It, 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 all, has, it all has uh, universal themes to it. Because yeah. I noticed that too in a lot of different cultures or religions as well. Like if you if you read up on it, like look up. Look up Buddhism. Look up all these different religions, and there's central themes that you can see related across them. Like, there's a lot about all of them talk about being enlightened as a person. Like, no matter how you do it, like they all have the little way of doing it, but their goal. Is Even to get Scientology. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's like enlightened. It's like, for example, like all the like all the pyramids in Egypt and all that shit like that. Do you guys really think it was just done by human? No. Like, have you seen those shows like on on the yeah. on the net? It was a Net Geo channel, Geo. Mm-hmm. like uh, Geo. ancient ruins and shit like honestly, that. Yeah. Honestly, I don't believe that aliens built the pyramids because I mean, there's there's been proof that it was actual workers and and like slaves, basically. Yeah. Sure, shit. But but, but, but it's archaeolo- actually actually it wasn't it, it was actual workers. It wasn't slaves. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but the archaeology behind it, like oh. how long it fucking took, like those things are huge. The rocks oh. are heavy. Look, I agree with you. But that doesn't explain how they got the knowledge of doing it. Right. Yes, that's the part. That's, that's the, the part. part. To because if, yeah. if, you, if you look up how it was done, like with the levee systems and the rocks that they used shit, to push across and the Nile, just, because that's how they did it. They not pushed just all that. on like rollers it, to like get the... It's aligned with everything else. Like yeah. what did like um, major, like um, big things <laughs> in, uh, in the rest of the world, they all lined up yeah. to the equator. Or something yeah, they, like they, that. they have like... Um, they have. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they have like their special alignments and crap, and that's why people are really oh, that, into like astrology. Yeah, well, like they line, align up to the moon and shit the, like that. One mm-hmm. theory that goes into those things is that they use the satellites to communicate with 
people out there. Like back then, people from those times used those as satellites. Because I guess they say that the pyramids in Egypt, there used to be a big airport there, like back in the day. And like fucking shit used to come from out here. I'm not capping. Like that's what they say as a theory, you know? Mm. And like the the pyramids were there as like antennas, signal antennas to like communicate. Like Word, bro. Oh, dang, shit. Yeah. I haven't heard that but one. then after the flood, the fucking airport, like multiple airports got fucked. And like where you see those pyramids, it used to be like communication towers for like- For ships and shit like and that? Ships. Yeah, that's what they're- that's what the theories go to. So the theory, the theory is pretty much saying that there's there's been fucking hoverboard, there's been like um spaceships yeah, like, like how, for years. How do you know when they say that Noah built an ark or a ship? Like, how do you know it was really like an actual ship? It could have been like a fucking spaceship. Like, you don't know. Like they use the word shit, but like, I don't know. It's kind of like they put questions like that into it, they get hmm. evidence, but at the end of the day, they never say it's real. They say it's a possibility because they don't have enough evidence yet. But it's all just kind of like in theory from the what they've collected over time. So I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense if you start looking at it, at it like that. Well, if you think <laughs> if you think of Noah's Ark as a spaceship, that actually kind of makes a little bit of sense. You know what? And, and yeah. I don't and I don't want to go backwards, but maybe maybe you know, and it's more like a theory. What if all of it's reset? It's a reset. So like it got the technology before it got so fucking advanced. That for whatever reason the world needed a reset, so a reset back, and now we're we're slowly, Look, slowly, slowly graduating to to oh, those you know things. I've, I've thought you. about that before. That's what Joe Rogan was talking yes. about. In his I've podcast. thought about that they, before. They said that that happened because aren't we Mars. like a level? Aren't we a level like two or or what civilization? No, we're level. We're, we're not level, not even one. level one. Yet. We're not even we're level, level one. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, we're not. Even, we're not even level one yet. Yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. You like, heard of that? What do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? What what type of level civilization you are? If you look it up. I believe there's what five levels. Yeah, and like the fifth, level, and there's like like I ten, but they're not like legit. They're just like yeah. I think like level. I think level three is to the point where um, it's Le- okay. I, for, I forget. So level, I forget, level but, one is the planet. Level two is like our solar system, and then level three is like the Milky Way, and then level four is like multiple. Uh, I guess like systems, mm-hmm. and then level five would be like God, like like universe, like it, a fucking whole ass like systems of milky ways and shit like just being controlled by i guess uh yeah it's pretty interesting power. if you look it up i don't know because we're at 7.5 meaning once we're able to go to mars and the moon and other places and use it like as sources for our planet or like mm-hmm. to as resources as we use it as yeah. resources or we use it as something that we can go there casually then it's a level one level one then yeah. it's level one yeah once we can fall oh, that's level one system. yeah, yeah. That's how, if you think about that, that's crazy. But it kind of like, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense though, because ne- we, we, now we're sending rovers to Mars and shit like that. What if, you know, what if like all those were like just bounce planets that we actually, you know. That's what they say. This got, there was got, a nuclear war in Mars and that's why we're here because I guess another theory says that from the nuclear war in Mars, the survivors came here and we like, we're, we're descendants from Martians and shit, I guess. Yeah, guys. So, I mean, it's a trippy ass concept no doubt no doubt no doubt no doubt yeah but i mean yo we're gonna have to cut it here guys if you guys are the people that view it all the way of all the way to the end you guys are honestly the true mvp you guys are the ones that are making it happen please like share and subscribe make sure to follow all the cast you know hey. all the hosts out here um we, we we love doing this content for you guys and let us know in the comments down below what do you guys if you guys believe in the theories i mean yeah we can you, call them do theories. Do you believe in aliens? Do you think the government's actually hiding stuff from us? I know. Or do you think it's not even real at all? We just don't like Andy coming with that too. Yeah, that too. <laughs> he likes oh. that shit. Like he, what? You get hyped about it when people say, I don't like that fool. Ooh, well, I don't know why. Like you really take time out of your day to do that. Like, thank you. Like, <laughs> I mean, like thank you. Thank you. Guys, again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. Let's reach 200 subscribers. One. Yes, and we'll see you on the next one. We out in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ah, aliens. Ah, aliens. Ah, aliens. Oh, 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 aliens.